Hey guys, welcome back to Imperion Galactic Survival. My name is Spanj. Ooh, a butterfly. <laughs> There's also some Talon walking around over there. Hello, Mr. Talon, sir. I see you. There's no mind me. Everything's fine. Everything's fine. Pick it up right where we left off in this Alpha 9 point. Bloody hell, I can jump high. <laughs> this Alpha 9 point. Uh, four. New Let's Play, part two. Here we go. We're going to get a bike this time. Now, I didn't get a bike last time because with volume and weights enabled, it, it just took up too much inventory space. I, I was already fairly... I uh, had, had my hands tied with the inventory system uh, at that time. Now, obviously, like I said in the last episode, they've changed that now. It's not nearly as bad. And it's actually very quite fun. Um, you know, especially with the building aspect and getting uh, getting new ships and HVs and stuff to use the logistics thing. It's a nice new building challenge, anyway, if you, if you like that sort of thing. If not, then there's a Steam Workshop. <laughs> Have at it. <laughs> right, so yeah, we're, um, we're doing alright, actually. I do need some more food. I have a bottle of berry juice, and that is it. So, um, the problem with this area in the woods here... Um, although it's very good for trees, obviously. Um, it's not very good for food. <laughs> Unless I'm willing to go hunting, but... Um, yeah, so... Well, that's why we built a bike. Because the bike will allow us to go a little bit further, a little bit quicker. It's not a very good machine, but it, it's, it's better than nothing at this stage, really. Uh, so, there's the bike. That's nice and finished. Now I'm going to have some more berry juice. I don't, I don't know how I keep losing health. I just seem to do. So, <laughs> there's that. And we're going to put you in there. We're going to take you with us this time because um, what I do want to do, once I've found some food, is dig up these three deposits and then turn them into ingots and, uh, you know, get a, a proper hover vessel and maybe a base on the go. So, anyway, we can... Um, Take this for oh, hang on. We got two new objectives: craft weapon. Well, I've already got a weapon. Well, I've already got a weapon. Craft detector. In fairness, I can craft a detector because that is not something I crafted. And if I really need to craft a weapon, then make a pistol. I guess I'm not going to make anything more fancy than that, to be honest. Detector is good though. That allow us to detectorize stuff. That's the real word. And um, yeah, it makes it slightly easier to find things on this on this quite a big map. This is only this is a medium planet as well. You can have a large planet, and these squares then become little squares like that, about a quarter of the size of that one. So um, detector, yay! And detector is used to de detect stuff. That's that's what that says. So there's nothing around here. Otherwise, we'd see little red squares up on our mini map in the top right. So we have discovered everything of any significance around here, which is good. And weapon. I'm pretty much just going to shove that straight into my factory, to be honest. Uh, but that ticks that off anyway. So can we go get some food now? Right, I'm going to head back. Um, actually, should we explore where we haven't been? Maybe I should head... Oh, look at that. That's just come up. Um, was that in my PDA? Um... Da -da 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 -da. Congratulations, you've completed basic survival. Oh wait, hang on. Exploration, here we go. Commander, I'm picking up a strange signal further away. It might be an alien structure. Let's go check it out. Why not? We'll pick up some food along the way. Alien structure, we need to go another bit. <laughs> turn! Turn, you goddamn bugger. There we go, All right, we're turned. Alien, alien artifact, I think I know what this is. This is either an alien helix, or it is a smaller alien structure. I'm gonna breeze right past those bugs. I just saw a bunch of spiders and I'm going to slash ignore those guys. Alright, I'm going to stop. Actually, do you know what? I'm not going to stop and pick up rocks because we're going to get those three deposits anyway and that's going to be like more than enough resources to get us going really. Uh, why have I got my <laughs> I'm going to drill this eggplant. Alright. Can you make that into food? Thank you. They're so much better. Um, yeah, like I said, I didn't build a bike last time. It just took up too much space. But um, since everything's everything's sort of balanced now, it's it's back to normal with the whole bike thing. So we definitely have a bike, and this makes early exploration. Well, I mean that's the title of the whole PDA thing, isn't it? 
Exploration. Get a bike. Ride around. It's all good. Spiders. Ugh. Hate those things. So annoying. Right. Is that? No. <laughs> I thought that was aloe vera. I was like, yeah. You have me some aloe vera. But it's not. We we'll continue our way to the alien artifact through another woodland area. This is good though. But you know what? I haven't. My, my detector still isn't going off. It's not going off at anything. There's like no other deposits around here at all. Which is. Uh, which is interesting. Well, slightly concerning as well. But mind you, I, I wouldn't be too far away from a hover vessel, so. Like, exploring on a large scale shouldn't be too. Whoa, lag spike. Shouldn't be too difficult once you get a hover vessel, because uh, they just they just move so quickly. Right, now we get some things on our little mini map in the top right, our compass. See those red markers? That means the detector has detectorized something worth detecting. So, we're heading towards this alien artifact anyway, which is... I think this thing has a range of 1,000 meters, 1,000 meters, and there's a copper deposit. Um, there's some spice here. I won't stop and get this because um, spice is awesome. It's the food of life and all that. Um, yeah, you need spice to make salami. If you get meat by killing like some bugs and stuff like that. Then salami is or uh, spice is awesome. Large destroyed farm. Ah, oh, bingo, bingo, bango, bango. That is like jackpot money in early survival POI finds. That is, I do have a river to cross, however, though. So I hope there isn't anything in here that's gonna kill me. Oh my god, ah, you son of a. <laughs> oh god, I hate you. I hate you, yeah? Well, you're out of water now, aren't you? So you've ruined that. Ah! Oh. Hang on, gentlemen. I need to go and change my underwear. I'll be right back. Jesus. I hope there's nothing under here that's going to eat me. And lo and behold, a bloody telluropod just comes out. Oh, God, no. I need to breathe first. This is not Subnautica. Can I take that? No, I can't. Oh. I thought you could take seaweed. Please, can we um, have no more telluropods, please? That would be great. <laughs> so, as the first, uh, as the first water-based creature, that I think telluropod is a fantastic addition. A because it's bloody terrifying, and B that's a drone. That is a drone. Uh, we could be in trouble now. Oh crap. <clears throat> <laughs> Don't pick up a weapon when you're in the water. You will sink like a stone. Um, yeah, that is a drone. What are we going to do about that? Well, we need to go and kill it, obviously. Oh, God! Yeah! That is a particularly vicious drone. Wow! He is hungry from death. Well, we shall bring it to it. him. I think, maybe. Um, oh, God! Hey, 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 hey there, buddy. Ow, 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 right. Oh no, he's, oh, he's, oh, there goes the bike. I need to get underneath him. I need to get underneath him. You swine. Come down here. Kill my bike. Do you know how long it's going to take me to walk back now? You bastard. Ah, uh, yeah, I tried to, I tried to ride up underneath and then I misjudged where he was and I got off my bike too soon. Damn it. Damn it. And now I am super injured as well. I need some veg juice. Give me some veg juice. Uh, I could do with some alien honey. But do you know what? I left my tent. Ah, oh, I left my tent. I left the constructors. Everything is back there. That's <laughs> really far away. Ah, oh, damn. <laughs> Alright, this thing looks cool though. Alright, we have got, I tell you what, we have got this large destroyed farm. What level am I? Level 5! Okay, that's good because I wonder, I wonder, I don't know if I'm going to be able to do this. 100 and, 184 carbon substrate might be difficult, but if if there's enough loot in, in here, um, let me just eat these leaves, they, they'll heal, heal me, um, then I might be able to actually just unlock a hover vessel straight from this and hover my way back. Whoa! Okay, my super awesome jumping ability is going to come in handy, I think. 
if I can just get it right. Oh. <laughs> That'll be a new then. Oh, there's nothing in there anyway. I thought there were some things in here. Drone! I thought there were some loot containers in this thing. There are. There's one up here above the core. How do I get in there though? Is this. Because the alien helix, you can climb. This thing. Hmm. No. I don't think I can super jump all the way up there, unfortunately. I do get some height on these weird super jump glitches, but not that much, and especially not when I just headbutt that thing. Creepy noises. Creepy! Mm. Damn it. Uh. Oh! Oh, you son of a bitch! No! No! You son of a bitch! Oh. And this is uh, this is the point where I would have lost the Iron Man series if I, if I ever take take part in one of those things. <laughs> damn, damn, that was savage. That was a savage, savage attack. I thought I heard some creepy noises. I even turned around and had a look. I was like, "That's creepy." There's some creepy noises going on. But damn it, I did not see that guy until it was too late. That was a sneaky little bastard. Um, yeah, what a git. What an absolute git. Oh my god. Uh, yeah, we're in... <laughs> we're, in uh, we're in the wilderness now, aren't we, chaps? We are in the wilderness now. I can't get into this thing. Um, not until I think... I think not until I get an SV. Unless I, I figure out some masterful way of uh, glitch jumping up the sides, but I don't... Oh, that was freaking cool, wasn't it? Hang on. Ah, oh, no, no, that's headbutting the same things again. You can jump really high, but it's really difficult to get the right... I'm afraid I'm going to be jumped by one of those goddamn bugs again. Hang on. Let me just do this one more time, and then I'm going to give up. Right, okay, screw it. Let's go and check out this farm. It's night time, we're in danger land, there's some honey over there, that's like super good. That's what I could have used with the dermal burn, but, it, oh crap, it's another one of those things. Can he shoot through trees? Better not be able to shoot through trees. I need to reload. I need stamina. The, those things are pretty cool, those little plants there. If you get them, you get like energy drink boosts, things. Here he is. Uh, oh, you son of a... Hate you things! This is a level three as well. Look at the shotgun shots he's taken. This is crazy. Yeah, I got you. I got you though, didn't I? I got you. Let's have. Ah, oh, so good. Ah, oh, so good. I hate dermal burn. How many of them do I need? I need two. Damn it. All right, fine. Yeah, we're in hostile territory. These things are horrible. Horrible little bastards. Hate them. Hate them. Hate them. Hate them. But you know, that's what we've got. Um, I could really use some healing things. More alien honey would be nice. Um, here we go. Look at this thing, though. Wow, what the devil is that? Oh, right. <laughs> I was like, what is that? Some weird, like, wreck thing going on here? Oh, a bench. <sighs> ah, recover my stamina. Yay. There's a nice table. Yeah, lots of lovely stuff. Uh, and then we've got the large destroyed farm. Oh, hey, look. There's POIs everywhere around here. This must be why the PDA took us here. Ah. There is literally nothing left in this place. <laughs> Aha! Oh, I can't access it. Damn it. Got excited there. Hang on. Uh, that's better. Mm-mm-mm. I've been waiting for that for hours. Okay, so are there any grow plots left in this place? We've got a solar panel. That's cool. Um, doesn't look like there's any grow plots. Oh, no, tell a lie. There are loads of grow plots in here. Yeah, look at this. This is perfect. Um, we are definitely going to get um, a base out of this. I just need a multi-tool, which I think I can even unlock now. I've already unlocked it, of course. I just need to build it. Um... Oh, that was close. 
going to muck that up. I was hoping for a bit of loot in this thing, but well, there's a solar generator. I don't want to dismantle any of this stuff with like the survival tool because you'll just get you get nothing back. I'll get a bit back, but I won't get that much. Oh, hello, chaps. All right. You, uh... Oh, you're climbing up the stairs! Since when could you climb upstairs? That is not allowed. You're Daleks. You're not allowed to climb upstairs. That is against the laws. Imperion laws forbid you stair rights. Yes. There's only two of you. No, there's three. There's another cheeky one over there. Look. Come on, then. Stop climbing stairs. It's a bad spot. <laughs> So yeah, that's not what you want. You do not want spiders that climb stairs. Alright. I'm in all sorts of hurt and pain and trouble. My overconfidence was my weakness. Ah, honey. Honey, 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 honey. This is good, though. This is good. I found a farm, which means I just, yeah. Once I get a hover vessel, I get a multi-tool, I can really start churning these uh, POIs into like base blueprints and stuff. It's all good. There's another POI just over there I'm going to check out. I apologise for the sort of bunny hopping, but I mean... Ugh, do you not realise how much quicker you travel when you do this? Uh, and I'm going to be doing that a lot in order to get back to my constructors and stuff. Oh, I'm so annoyed my bike got blown up by a goddamn drone. First drone in the game. Lucky shot. Swine. My fault. My NGO was in a really bad place. It was on that shoreline. There was nothing I could do other than just rush him. Please have something useful. Wreck thingy, majiggy. Uh, you don't have anything useful. <laughs> Damn. I was hoping for loot containers. Cargo boxes. Anything, you know? Um. Damn. Is there anything else around here? I don't think there is. More alien honey down there. Might go quickly grab that. My detector's going mad. It's like there's all stuff up here, north and east. But it's all in the wrong direction. I need to be heading back the other way. Alright, more sweeter. That's great. Doesn't actually uh, take my food up much though. The sweetness. I need more vegetables as well. Okay. Um, let's set a waypoint. I'm going to need to set a waypoint to come back to the wreckage. Let's set that as home for now. Oh my god, 2.99 kilometers on foot. Ooh, it's going to be a long journey. But it'll be fine. I'm sure we will not come across any more nasty ass big butt bug alien things. <clears throat> sure. Uh... Oh, I have got my torch on. I'm like, it's especially dark, is it? Especially dark? I don't know. I would skip the night, but my tent's all the way over there. <laughs> all right, guys. All right. Well, the journey begins, I guess. I need to get back. Uh, I don't think there's enough. I don't know. Maybe, maybe it's worth trying, isn't it? It's worth trying. Definitely, I don't have the carbon substrate to make it work. But I may as well try and... Ah, this is the thing. Do I dismantle it with the survival tool? Knowing full well I'm not going to be able to get the resources to build the hover vessel. Or do I just wait? I just wait till I get a, a multi-tool and then I'll dismantle it and get, you know, actual proper resources for it. I'm just going to have to head back the old-fashioned way. Are they night raptors? Yes, they are. How wonderful. How wonderful is that? That's that's great. That's good news. I'm really excited to know that. Please do not notice me. Come on, pick it up. And that. Come on, stop being sloppy with the F button. Right. I'm gonna cut this to shreds. So I'll, I'll come back to you guys as anything develops along this monstrous journey but otherwise I think it's just going to be a case of foraging along the way um, keep this kind of food coming in I should be all right actually there goes some stimulant in case I run out of stamina that should be quite good all right I'm heading back oh, that was a long walk through the night <laughs> 
And you know what? It was really annoying because I was traveling. I was basically traveling with the night. So the whole sunrise counter never, never went. It's been six. I think it was six hours to sunrise when I left. Six hours to sunrise now. Apparently I outrun the sun. That's how good. But, you know, I did pick up plenty of food stuff. So that's good. Um, so that sort of little crisis of food is kind of over. Um, I've got some natural sweetener going on. I even picked up some copper rocks and iron rocks while I was out. So that's pretty good. Uh, yeah. All in all, not a complete and utter disaster. Even though it was a complete and utter disaster. <laughs> oh, that little bloody bug snuck right up on me, didn't he? Little swine. Little swine. Anyway, I'm back now. Now we know where there's a really good um, little, little group of POIs. That thing's got a nice big fat red container in it, which I am going to get. I think as soon as I have a hover vessel, I'll be able to use the hover vessel as a launch pad in order to get myself and jump up in there. There's copper deposit up there as well. And plus, there's something up over there. And I'm keen to explore up over there because it is north, and north is good because more sun, you know. So, I'm going to um, mine out the rest of these deposits so that I can, I can maximize the amount of ores that I have because with the changes to weights of volume, like I said before, uh, yeah, we should be able to carry it all. Um, but you know what? I'm going to bed. <laughs> Not a bed. My God damn. That's uh, yeah. There we go. That's nice. All that. Forty-eight biofuel. That's not bad. That's not bad. I might actually just put half of it back in there. To be honest, don't need to carry it all. A bit like this. Uh, all that food that we could pick up is going to spoil, though. That's that's one thing. We don't have a fridge. Uh, oh no, that one and that one. You're gonna get lots of spoiled food in here, unfortunately. Just gonna eat these berries, eat them up. Right, can you make how much? Right, you got so eight crushed stone plus some fiber. Just, just make a bunch of plastic for me, please. That would be great. Thank you very much. Yeah, just make as much as you can. Right, uh, yeah, I got my little heater on me this time. So I finish off that copper deposit first of all. Oh, I, is it worth making another bike if I'm just about to get a hover vessel? I don't think so. I don't think it is. I think I think we're just leave it for now it's fine I just the only thing like what I don't like m about mining with the drone especially before I get a HV is that <laughs> I've no idea if, if, it, if something sneaks up on me um, I'm not gonna see it before it hits me if you know what I mean you know um, anyway all right let's drill this out so this is how we should you should have drilled in the first place we got stuck in the hole but anyway, this shouldn't take too long. And then, oh, I'm going to do the iron and, and silicon ones. So I'll come back to you guys once I've done all three, basically. Because uh, otherwise, it's going to be about half an hour of you looking at this, you know? <laughs> Which is thoroughly exciting, I know. <laughs> anyway, I'll see you in a sec. Look at that. Look at that. A stack of iron. Holy crap. Do you know what? That iron deposit took so much back and forth. Oh my lord! Um, so yeah, I've got the iron. I got the co I got the copper first. I got that brewing away and got straight away. Went back and forth. Got the iron, started that brewing, and the uh, the silicon's brewing in that other one right now. So uh, I only need fifty four iron. <laughs> uh, this is why the factory is amazing. <laughs> All right, and uh, how much copper was it? Got on already. Short memory. 110, alright, uh, there we go, 111, pretty close to the mark, and uh, is that silicon done? Yeah, silicon is done at 370 as well, crikey, crikey, kicking booty, guys, uh, 89 silicon, uh, 92, that'll do, start production, 8 minutes, amazing, right, there we go, so, out of that, we got should have probably got some more trees and got this brewing some more biofuel. But I do have the two fuel packs as well, and we are going back to we are going to go back over yonder and get these guys. Um, and there might be some like fuel cells in that unknown artifact. Certainly, is going to be a generator in there. That's the point. Do I need the hover thing to build a multi tool? No. Amazing. Do need Promethean pellets though 
to get the the, the fuel. Ah, oh, yeah, Promethean pellets. What was it? In the last, I think last time I got really lucky and got Promethean pellets or even charges. I think in one of the um, one of the uh, one of the loot cargo boxes. Of these ones up here. I've only exp I've only found two of the wrecks. There's usually like five. So I wonder where the other ones are. I might do a little bit of exploring around there. Find the other ones because if I can find some multi-tool charges, then awesome. Also, there is usually a Promethean deposit around it somewhere. I wonder if there's going to be one up over here in the mountains. Either way, we need to do much exploring. But uh, that's now processing in the factory. Six minutes, so it sounds like a good opportunity to go and get some sleep. <laughs> good morning, everyone. It's a wonderful, wonderful morning. Uh, so that means that, uh, well, hopefully, <laughs> please. It should be done by now. Yay! Spark is here! Woohoo! Ah, little Sparky! Yeah! We love it! This is the level 5 version, so she has, like, proper thrusters and and stuff. Uh, and so there's a constructor, there's a fridge. Uh, the only thing I don't think your Sparky has here is an armor locker, you know? I could be wrong. Um, I can't actually remember. I built this damn thing. Can't remember. It's got an armor locker. Uh, does not have an armor locker. There's everything that it has, which is absolutely fine because in that container controller, um, which is now in here. Yeah, Spark level five. So I can I can put everything um, that we have, including <laughs> a full stack of iron. I wonder if it will actually lift with a full stack of iron. I suppose there's one way to find out, isn't there? Okay, let's grab that. We've got a two Promethean fuel cells there. I can take that. Um, let's let's grab as much of this as I can carry. Which is that much? Oh crap! <laughs> this might take a little while. <laughs> okay, it's fine. Let's do raw materials first, and then we'll do food and stuff second. We'll put all this like in the fridge. There's no need for it to go in there. Mhm. Mm mhm. Mm yep. <laughs> Five point six nine tons. It's fine. She she'll be able to take that. That's yeah, no problem whatsoever. Eight seventeen. T okay, we're running out of running out of volume now. Um, can you can you? <laughs> and the silicon, the silicon, um, and all of this. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, all of that I think can go in the the fridge. I don't think that needs to go in in here. Silicon. Oh, look at that! Oh, no, no, don't need spice. That's it! And the minigun rounds, I don't need those. Ha <laughs> ha! It is right on the nose. <laughs> Alright, fine. Well, we can put everything else then. Let's um, shift click that, shift loot that, F4 that, switch to the fridge, and then everything else can go in the fridge, apart from mechanical components. There we go, okay. Oh, and the spice. Wonderful! Now, let's find out if she'll actually lift off, of course. That is the uh, the other thing as well. Fuel! Yeah, look, she's a little beauty! Ha <laughs> ha! We're mobile. We are mobile. That's it. That's it. We're mobile. Game over. We've won. Finished. Thanks for watching. <laughs> I, I do need an armor and armor locker. Uh, is the only drama with the spark here. Because I did actually design it while I was on the Arid Planet. And of course you've already got armor on the Arid Planet. So, huh. what are you going to do? So, um, we need a base. We need a base next. That's the next job. I'm going to head over, over um, here quickly. I don't... I don't have a detector, but I have I have my handheld detector actually. So, if there are other like um, wrecks and stuff that we can explore, dismantle, or whatever over here, then we should be able to find them. Wee -hee -hee! Wait, what direction am I going in? The wrong one. We need to be heading northwest. Yeah, the old little spark. 
How, many, how much time have we got? We've got uh, 237 minutes of power where we filled it up, what, 60%? I must admit the left and right drift is a little bit sluggish at this weight. Look at that. Oh, God. I should probably be driving in first person through the trees. Ah, there's a break in the trees. We need to head that way. There we go. Right, we're clear. Okay. Yeah, I'm really hoping there are some more little wreckages in there because one of them may contain some multi-tool charges, in which case... That'll be wonderful. That'll be a big boost. But yeah, we need a base. Uh, is our next thing really on the agenda. So I'll leave it up to you guys in the comments. Uh, either you can recommend a base blueprint to me, or I can just build one off cuff. Like I did kind of last time. Well, last time I used the, the small warehouse. Until we got to the new base location up in the north. Well, our base location this time, I'm thinking maybe up here somewhere. It's probably where we're at. But you guys let me know in the comments uh, if you've got a, a base blueprint that you think I should use. Bear in mind it needs to be like a starter base and affordable and stuff like that. <laughs> or you'd like me to just build off cuff. Let me know. It's up to you. Oh, I've stranded myself here. What am, I? Well, what am I talking about? I'm in a hover vessel. I'm not stranded ever. It's absolutely fine. <laughs> hey, look at that. We we got something on our northbound sensory thingy-jiggy. I just want to quickly check this out. Whoa! <laughs> That's there we go. We got a small wreckage. All right, where is that? That's like right here. Okay, cool. Please be multi-tool charges. Pretty please. Wow, it's properly in there, isn't it? Hi. You even got a like a box. Yeah, you do. Ah, got some beans, beans and some energy pills. All right, guys. Well, that's all for today. Anyway, just wanted to check that. Lap. Can I even get back in here? Yeah, that's right. Uh, <laughs> that is all for today. Thank you very much for watching. Like I said, let me know in the comments um, either a base blueprint that you've got that you'd like me to try. Or off the cuff, up to you. But I will be back tomorrow. Maybe a little bit later, because I need to wait for you guys to actually comment on this one. So, we'll see. Alright guys, thank you very much for watching. Hope you enjoyed. And hopefully I'll see you next time. Until then, take care. Bye-bye.